All right, this one's kind of exciting to me. This is the um, Hardline kit from Air Cooled Army. And uh, so I'm just opening it today because I, I don't yet have everything assembled, but I'm very excited to do uh, Hardline fuel lines. So let's see what kind of parts we get here. All right, we got a little hardline instruction kit here. So, this thing, you know, a couple hundred bucks. We'll see what we get here. And, uh, honestly, for me to try to pick all of the parts that would be needed, um, it would have taken me forever because I don't really know. I did get the flaring tool. Um, so it looks like this is the gonna be kind of the crossbar. Uh, it's a hard line here. The two kind of elbow ninety degrees. And here is a straight piece. And then, looks like we got T. Fuel pressure. This looks like so two these things. This looks like how the hard line will go into the um, let's see. All right, so it looks like if I were to take one of these carbs, it's like what's going to happen here. Let's say this is the is this one here, say on the left side. This thing is a, um, it has a flaring. And then this is gonna go into here. Layer, uh, you know, make sure I have the the correct uh, length and everything. Once I've got this all set up, so then this will flare like this, and then uh, go in there, and then this will be the back of the bus. So then this will likely go in here and go down here. down to my, where the fuel comes in, and this is going to come over here, it's going to connect to the, and what I've seen is uh, they'll, they'll have this fuel pressure gauge right in between where the right hand carb is. guy here we have again this thing going into the actual car this is going to go in here you don't have to flare that this is going to peer out here from between the fan shroud and that this is going to go down on the left side of the bus and then I believe looks like here on the there's one final connector which is going to connect the this connector piece here to whatever's uh, pulling the fuel in so whatever's you know fuel pump and all that so it basically looks like this 
let's see. Just as a mock-up and all this will have to be cut. But the hard line basically looks like this. The hard line's gonna come in to the carb on both sides. Here's the T, and then we're coming down to the um, fuel. So I have an electric fuel pump. It's gonna come in through and I, I'll probably, um, I mean, I have a regulator. It's not really needed with the fuel pump that I've got, but I might put that regulator in just as a staging point for the fuel to come in. It's gonna connect to this line. This will probably be vertical. Uh, this will come out near the bottom of the fan shroud on the inside of where the air, uh, where it dumps the hot air. Um, on this side, of course, this comes across. You have the fitting for this uh, fuel pressure gauge. And that'll be interesting just to have that permanently there. And then I've got the um, fitting in for the right-hand carb. So this will all have to be cut and flared, etc. But I think this looks great in the, um, you know, It's not, a, it's not a super cheap kit, but at the same time, I actually didn't even know uh, what parts would all be needed for a um, hard line fuel, uh, fuel line kit for a air-cooled VW, so I would have had to really experiment around to, to figure out which parts um, were needed. But um, that's great. Uh, that'll avoid that floppy fuel line that I have in the front of the shroud on the um, on my other engine and this will go then behind the shroud and so that should leave the leave the front of the motor very clean looking all right again that's the uh the kit from let's see the kit from the um air-cooled army 